Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. So what you see on your screen right now, it's the Lowe's Iris and a Google Home. So in this video, we're going to show you how to pair Google Home to Lowe's Iris. And we're going to begin in just a minute. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. Any tips that we publish on the Google Home or any tips that we publish on Lowe's Iris, you'll automatically be notified. We're going to begin right after this. If you have Google Home already, chances are you know about the benefits. If you already also have Lowe's Iris or you're considering Lowe's Iris, well, you know about the benefits of controlling your lights, having home security, building out your Lowe's Iris system as your skills and budget allow. You can control repetitive things like the temperature in your home or office if that's where it's installed. You can even control music or a lawn sprinkler system. And you can do all these things in a scheduled manner because the Lowe's Iris platform allows you to schedule these various repetitive tasks. The benefit of the Google Home, however, is that you can make changes, turn on a light, turn on music, adjust the temperature, arm the alarm system, disarm the alarm system using verbal commands. That's very, very convenient. Now we've been using Lowe's Iris for quite some time and it's a very easy to use reliable system that you can add to no matter your skill level or budget. But if you have some interest later on you can click on a link to get some more information about the product. Let's get started on how to pair Google Home with Lowe's Iris. Alright, so what you see on your screen right now on the right hand side is a picture of the Lowe's Iris Smart Hub packaging. And then on the left, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to pair the Google Home device with the Lowe's Iris system. Now, what you're going to want to do is on your Apple iOS smartphone or tablet or your Android smartphone or tablet is locate the Google Home uh, app as it's indicated on the left panel here by the large yellow arrow and open that app. Now, uh, as the app is opening and loading, you're going to see this symbol. And then when the loading is complete, you'll see a screen that's somewhat similar to this. Now, we were running some tests with our Google Home prior to making this how-to video. And we asked Google Home to explain to us what is YouTube TV, which is a subscription service that YouTube has added recently. But regardless, if you'll notice at the top left of your screen when you have the app open, that three bar icon, go ahead and tap on that. And it'll take you to the, a screen that's similar to this on your smart device and locate home control and tap home control. Now the next screen at the bottom right, you're gonna see a large circle with a plus sign in it. Tap that. So it'll then take you to this screen that's going to say add devices at the top. And you'll notice in our example account, we have an Ecobee and a Wemo device. Your screen might not have an Ecobee or a Wemo because you don't have that in your system. But regardless, what you'll want to do is you want to scroll down that list and look for Iris. When you locate Iris, click on Iris. The next screen that's going to pop up is that the Lowe's Iris system is going to ask you to go ahead and log into your Lowe's Iris account by inputting your Lowe's Iris email and your Lowe's Iris password. Then click login. And if you put in the correct email and password, the next thing Iris is going to ask you to do is authorize Google Home to control your Lowe's Iris system. And that'll be at the very bottom of the app screen. And once you've successfully authorized it, it's going to ask you or it's going to recommend that you assign the room names. Now, we're not going to show you how to assign the room names because we just wanted to show you how to pair Google Home with Lowe's Iris. You don't have to assign the room names, but Google Home recommends that you do assign room names because they claim it makes voice commands easier. We don't know if it makes it easier or doesn't make it easier. 
we did test Google Home commands and it worked perfectly fine. And that's it. So you'll be all set and you can test your commands. Now, if you want some more information on the products, there's going to be some links that you can click on to learn some more. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.